We believe that our success and therefore our scholars' success is dependent on making sure that we have a diverse learning environment. We include people who may not think exactly the same way that we think, but they value the same thing. And that is the fact that our children should have access to college education. From the time that I was in elementary school all the way through grad school, I very rarely had any role models who looked like me. Um, and as a child, I often wondered why that is. Um, you know, what does that say about the possibilities for people who look like me, have skin color like me, and hair like me? This is something like that was rare to see back in the day when I was going to school in the 90s. Like you really didn't see that. And as a brown kid growing up, you didn't see yourself in that picture. It was kind of hard to believe that you can uh, further your education any higher than where you were at. They need that hope. And every day they leave my room, I tell them to dream big because most scholars who come from the neighborhoods in Chicago, if they don't live in the South Loop or the West Loop and they live in the heart of the West Side, the South Side, they tend to lose how to dream. So yes, definitely I've had some students I can relate to who I can say, man, this was me. And I'm glad that I was able to meet you so I can reinvest you in yourself. I feel like when you have a teacher in front of you that looks like you, it gives you a sense of hope. It gives you a sense that you could be successful as well, even when others told you that you can't be. When society tells you that you can't be. When your environment shows that you can't be and won't be uh, successful. Uh, I feel that once you see that person and you see how successful they are, I feel like that instills something in you that makes you want to be successful, it makes you want to give back, it makes you want to you know, do something better than what everyone else is doing. When I see these kids, I see myself. I grew up in the Humboldt Park area, and we have uh, maybe not the exact same stories, but we have very similar struggles that we've uh, had to deal with in our lives. It, it's a common ground that we share, and we're able to understand each other in ways that, you know, other people might not be able to. Um, and it's just like, it, it helps me, and it helps them grow as people. You walk into a classroom setting and you're able to see different races in your classmates and you're able to like listen to their stories through like discussion or class talks and you're able to grow from what they've been through because you might have not been through it but seeing what they've been through grows you as an individual because it's like wow people do go through some crazy things in life it's like I have to appreciate what I go through and appreciate that they're still here and they're still willing to come to school. Educating students here and being of this neighborhood that's outside of Chicago gives students validation of one where they come from, two what they can do, and three the significance of coming back and reshaping their communities. So teaching is a platform because that's where it all begins. One aspect of diversity in terms of organizational health is just bringing in new ideas. Um, bring in new ideas that could lead to innovation and also avoid the pitfall of groupthink, which my opinion tends to put organizations in a place of complacency and Noble is the opposite of that, is always trying to look, at, look for what are the new things we can do to be one of the best charters in the country. Noble is a place where you can bring who you are in its entirety and create a space where you are able to really change and impact the lives of our students. That happens because we value diversity. Are we perfect at it? No. But are we committed to it? That's what Noble continues to do. We continue to break the mold. Uh, we continue to challenge the status quo and um, say, wait a minute, no, this is possible. Black and brown kids can go to college in huge numbers. Black and brown kids can outperform anyone on a standardized test or an ACT. Black and brown kids can get scholarships. Noble now and their focus with having a focus on diversity um, we're going to get this right and we're going to be the model for the rest of the country in how to attract and retain staff members that are diverse and because we're going to be able to speak to how it contributes to the betterment of our school, our communities, and the lives of our students. Mm -hmm.